just embarrassed the whole time. But Baka, Baka has a kindred spirit too. He, he's he's ready to have a good time. Uh, yeah, yeah, see, there's he smiles smile. on the faces. Yeah, and yeah, see, there you see some of the more uh, some more competitors showing up in the background there. And you Sambi. mean the whole PA carpool? <laughs> yeah. finally got here. Yeah, they arrived. I see Juice sitting over there. Oh, y'all caught me. All right. so <laughs> <laughs> Bad commentating. What? No. All right. We're no. going to just get it started here. I'm really, I'm very, very, like, interested in Insomniac's Joker. That is something I'm going to be watching. Mm -hmm. um, I definitely want to see definitely the teams play off of both of these teams. We'll see, especially because these players have teamed only once ever. So we will see how it goes. I really think they're just going to be mean and kind of target Kamina, I think which is what is happening right now. Yeah, it seems so. Like, a lot of times at the start of any doubles match, you have to make your primary target to one of the two players and see how well they react as well as how their teammate reacts. Because if their teammate's unable to save them, you have a game plan. If you get that data early, then you're good. But uh, at the same time, Blue team able to really regain their footing there, and red team taking a whole lot of damage still. Kamina trying, yeah, like you said, Kamina just getting crowded right now. Yeah, he's just getting bullied by by Mateo here. Uh, here's my thing. I'm very so. I feel like the better players on each team are both taking front. I feel like, uh, especially Insomniac, uh, he does. A, he's been doing a really good job of playing the support role, always throwing to your partner. That mm -hmm. is just doubles number one. Always throw to your partner. Yeah, and sadly for uh, Kamina, <laughs> you're talking about the the two players taking point, uh, his own teammate kicking him out of existence. It's like, all right, let me go ahead and do this myself. Ooh. Almost serving up, up to a back air into boost kick. That could, wouldn't have killed or anything, but would have been good damage, but not going to work. Mateo using the explosive flame to have him safely get on stage, then going for then going for the dash attack. Promising team play from both. Oh, that's a shield break. Oh, OK, nice save, though, by Kamina. Yeah, and because of the f oh, the boost oh. kick actually get a reverse Bankai the edge guard there. Bankai Good sick. job by Bankai. And able to close out the stock on the blue team, too. So red team taking the lead. Not by that much, though, here. Yeah, the damage percentage is definitely in the window where the blue team can e actually take the lead right now if they can get rid of these two fresh, uh, pretty high stocks. Insomniac holds on to Rebel's guard a little, a little much. Uh, you know, it's always good to just kind of like throw it out there and get Arsene like he was, but he really left himself kind of open there. He really has to watch that. Yeah, that's kind of like a trust fall moment there too, because like you hold on to it too long and hope that your teammate can come and help you. Right. But if uh, he realizes that there's no way that Insomniac can get to him fast enough, it's like, oh, excuse me, um, Mateo can get to him fast enough. He's like, all right, let me go ahead and stop doing that as much. Oh, okay. Nice by Insomniac, good coverage. I feel like Alfie is just the perfect team player. You notice how he dropped his combo on Bankai and just ran over to help Insomniac. Yep. It's, it's perfect. That is that is the sign of a good team. Exactly. That's primary focus. You always like if you are not making your teammate feel stronger, then you're not performing as well. Right. And the red team, it seems like they're starting to get a little bit more adjustments. But again, kind of similar to what we saw in the last round. A little bit too much friendly fire. We'll see if they can clean it up. The blue team kind of holding their ground. I really just love how Mateo is just kind of like doing Palutena things, and then uh, Kamina is like in the back, so, just like so he's hitting, that, <laughs> he's hitting the up jump button, right. and he's pressing A, right? A whole lot of just that that right there. Spin the wind, neutral air happening, but it's such a good tool in doubles because it covers not only the short hops, it covers teammates trying to come in and, uh, and try and stop a combo that you already got started. It hits everywhere. It's a great idea. Dash tech punish, get a force Bankai off, and they both go and focus for a second on Kamino, but they realize Bankai got back. Right. I just, I'm noticing um, kind of like who's the doubles players here. Like a lot of the times when Insomniac is in trouble, Alfie or Mateo will drop whatever he's doing and go help. But when um, Bankai is kind of like comboing Mateo, he's kind of still worried about Kamina. That's something that they're going to have to really like look at here. I mean, it's working out. I, n I didn't even notice how, like, last stocks were lost. Yeah, no, the main thing is that they ended up covering up, and Bankai getting the back air to get him back into at least a point where he can compete. He's doing a good job of doing what good doubles players do in these situations. He puts a wall up, like an invisible barrier between these two players. That he makes them crowd each other, so they're too scared to hit each other, and then he goes in and gets a quick capitalization. He's right. doing a perfect job of separating them right now. Blue team, all they need is just rack on maybe one to two quick strings, and they'll have Bankai kill percent. Yeah, really, like, 
Yeah, you see, you like, he's, he's purposely putting himself in between the two and then getting out of dodge fast. And he oh confirmed himself into a kill right there, making the Rebel's Guard happen, forcing the air dodge. And it was really nothing that Insane oh they could do. God. Almost getting the flip kick Bonkai. as well. Oh my God, Bonkai, please. Bonkai <laughs> Someone just said, welcome to Philly in the back. <laughs> oh, he got him with the flip kick again. Is he going to read the jump? No, he's going to be forced to go to the ledge. Our uh, Rapid Jab finally going to get something working for him. Let's see if we can stop this machine. Does Bonkai right now? He isn't going to, though. The boost kick, the boost kick might take it. Good. That and will take it. And Kamina <laughs> getting the carry of his life there. I feel like Kamina the entire time when Bonkai was down was just saying, believe in the me that believes in you. you? And he was able to run that back and get themselves. Oh, look at Bonkai did everything. He got, <laughs> he got, he got kill. yo, look at, look at Kamina being like all, like, just feeling all swagged out about it right now. Like, ah, yeah. Can we just talk about how Bonkai got every kill? <laughs> the perfect, the perfect support play. All right. So they're talking to, they're I talking really right think now. Insomnia should go bail. I'm not even, I'm not even joking here. I, I'd be very surprised if he didn't. I, I, I would be no, surprised really if we don't see. The Joker. Yeah, oh, I, he's going Richter. Like I said he would. Uh, you know, actually. Yeah. I think that, I think that was ha like what Bonkai uh, Kamina in uh, him we're talking about right now. Look at them like <laughs> look at them like buddy dub. Like, yeah. listen, bro, you suck. Like, <laughs> All right, I look man. I did, Here's what I, I, I want everything. you to do. Here's what I want you to do. You couldn't really hit them before, so I want you to just throw stuff. And right. that stuff will probably hit them. And that will help us. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm you aren't crying. living on recovery anyways. So I, right. I really did all everything. Right. I can't uh, get over that. I end up saucing on it. We're going into game number two here. Blue team definitely need to make a couple of adjustment adjustments. Like what we were talking about before. Bankai played so well separating the two. And you really can't let that happen because that's a terrible morale destroyer. And Somniac showing a little bit more signs of doubles there. Kind of dropped his combo on Kamina to walk over and see what he can help mm -hmm. with with the combo on uh, Mateo. So I'm interested to see how this one is going to go. So far, pretty standard here. Nothing, no crazy leads. See, these these random re rebellions guards from Insomniac, they got to go. Yeah, because go. a lot of the times he was trying to, like, almost psychic read when an attack was coming. That Ooh. time, Tetrakarn was a great idea because of how many hitboxes were around him, but gets called on it that time. He, uh, Kamina seeing through how much he's been throwing out the down Bs and punishing him for it. See, I really like this, this, what do you call it? This kind of positioning now. Mm -hmm. Bankai's in the front, do whatever, whatever the hell he wants, yep. and Kamina is doing whatever the hell exactly. he wants and just throwing, throwing stuff. It's very similar to what we saw before with uh, Corona and Tokyo. Having the nest in the background, having those projectiles and those long hitboxes. Kamina unfortunately jumping right into the boost kick, and that's going to cost both of them a stock. But he did get the stock on Mateo. That is a very big thing that you need to make sure you close it out. Right. Excuse me, Insomniac. I feel like I feel like uh, Mateo is kind of like figuring out what he needs to do. A lot of these like uh, random like near out of shields kind of you saw that one the last one kind of caught both I, of them. I think a more I think it's more so he's trying to get data on how proactive the red team right. is on jumping because it's really a safe call in general just to go for those nears. You don't want to be afraid to throw those out because that's your best tool. Right, for sure. And I mean, it's even right oh, now. Oh no! God. You hate to see it. Yeah, that one was Did actually he SD? that Did one he was just, actually you yeah, hate to see it right there because uh, Kamina was trying to go for a dare to get back down out of disadvantage and he missed the edge by like a half just, an inch. In the meantime, Bankai also lost his stock, so now blue team with a very hefty lead. Oh yeah, for sure. And I mean, Palutena. Ooh, okay. Gets a touch of Karn, doesn't do much to it, but oh my god. Yeah. Bankai really is good at just following up every hit. He kind of sees he sees the opportunity and just goes. Hey. Nice back air though from Kamina. Yeah, Finally Kamina. getting his first stock. Exactly. <laughs> Actually noticing where the landing and trajectory was coming in from uh, the Joker there. And because once again, he's realizing that he's just being too proactive with the Rebels right. guard, like you said before. And he's he's punishing him for it. Ooh, okay, gets the down air. Good coverage coming yeah. in from Palu, though, because of the fact, oh, he lost this jump because he committed to that it. fair. Don't yeah, take it, Marcel. He's not don't gonna, take he's it. Not gonna take it. <laughs> don't take I gu guarantee Bankai said don't take it. Ooh, okay. I like going for the throw combo instead of just the back throw. Mateo showing that he does trust his partner. Mm -hmm. See, and if that was me, I would have just thrown back. I'm like, I don't trust you. Uh, you know what? Uh, this is, Ooh, okay, there we go. Read. Gets the roll coverage right there. Uh, you know, very low commitment, so it's not too bad. I hate to say it, though, Ajax. We've been in this exact uh -huh. position before. The it's a little bit more comfortable on the percent, but oh, God. It was three stocks to one last time, too. And the main thing there is right now, go. there we go. You have to capitalize on everything. I feel like this wasn't happening that last time, though. It was no. more like, all right, you take you take front, you try, you go, you go first, yep. then you go first. So now I feel yep. like they're kind of just throwing to each other a little bit better. 
That Palu Mirror, man. And that's so important because, like I was pointing out before, see, I Ooh. love how, see, Bankai left that as an intentional bait. Even though he couldn't really do too much about that grounded hit, he stayed up there because he knew that Somniac was going to kind of, uh, try and come down there and help him out. Right. I love the guns, though, by... Um I love the guns by Insomniac kind of like interrupting all of Bankai's, uh, Bankai's momentum there. Bankai still, he, just the lingering hitbox through the shield as yeah. well. He's getting this back to a point once again, like last game, mm -hmm. where he has both of them at kill percent. And he oh can, God, you oh. need to see it. That could have been, that could have been game right there. Yeah, if he got him with that back no, air, that short air. hop air, air will take it out this time. No comeback from Bankai. If I were the red team, what would you do? Would um, you tell Kamino to switch back to Joker? No, I think that Kamino should stay this way. He got, even though he had the, the unfortunate SD that happened with that downer before, he has had a lot more chances to get some damage and some, uh, like some capitalizations, like the fair read before. And he's not really getting in the way of Bankai. Even right. though Joker may like solidify kills, if you can't hit your opponent, you know, what does that really do for anybody? Right. It might happen to deal with uh, stage pick as well. I think that we I might be seeing a smaller stage. Uh, it seems like Battlefield or Smashville is the idea. Battlefield will be it. Uh, because they were having a really hard time with Bankai being able to run away so much. Mm -hmm. For sure. I mean, he's really, you know what? I was singing I was singing Insomniac's praises earlier. I was just like, this guy still goes Bayonetta, and I'm not going to see any. I'm not going to see any Bayonetta. I'm very surprised because of, uh, I mean, well, it's still, like he's I said, much smarter stay? decisions really to do this here. Yeah, he's going to stay. Good call, Ajax. He's going to stay. I thought he would go back. Yeah, but and Bunkai's I. Bunkai's like, you stay. No, no, no. Oh, okay, so here comes a Pokemon trainer. <sighs> okay, all right, so. Kamina is very, very used to teaming with Pokemon trainer. Okay, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have some faith because of how well Bunkai's been playing. But also, at the same time, he's playing so well, and now he's switched. Right. So let's see if it costs him. It is a smaller stage in Battlefield, it is a great stage for ZSS. But you do have... It's a super great stage for Richter, though. I think yeah. this is one of Richter's best stages. It's an amazing stage for everybody, actually, now looking at the screen picks here. But yeah, I think that you're right on Kamina's ability to have less room that he has to worry about controlling and having a couple platforms to escape to. I just want to see how Bankai capitalizes Works on his around changes him. here. Yeah. See, right now they're kind of hitting each other a little bit. I mean, percents are pretty much even. Uh, good by Mateo there, just kind of waiting it out the damage. Realizing that he's going to eat damage anyway, so just kind of might as well capitalize. But what I really want to see are these, like, kind of these fair hits into Ivy up air. Something something cute like that. If Bankai pays close enough attention, those side Ooh. can definitely close. Oh, that was, he had it controlled. And really, it's a scary spot because you had to go right at the Palu or you go right at the charging up smash. Right. Take your pick. Good by Insomniac, though. He's really watching. He's really watching the hits. Mm -hmm. Going to get hit by the char. Oh, my God. Yeah, he almost took out his teammate, but the heftiness of Charizard keeping him alive just a little bit longer. Dash attack won't do anything. It's not strong enough yet, but there's the up smash. And thankfully, Kamina got out of there fast enough with the air dodge. To die. He's got to watch uh, Belmont uh, F throw, though. Believe it or not, Belmont's F throw, I think, is one of his best throws. Yeah, it can, it can kill. So See, if this, is, this is what Red Team needed. They just need Kamina to set up camp and then... Bankai kind of have like his time like back there. Yeah, and Ooh, can I grab? because of the primary focus on the smaller stage going out to comment up, uh, comment up, blue team, they have been playing well, even though they're behind just one stock. But there we go. Another up throw is going to take the stock out and actually an early kill coming oh, yeah. in there. On this the game Palu. is dominant. Do you see this? Six stocks to three. This Mateo is a blue is on chain. his last stock. And Bankai is going to have a fun time just doing the Charizard antics. Mm -hmm. And Kamina falling to his death yeah. once again. <laughs> Fair not grabbing the ledge, but you know what? Being at 160-ish like, percent off your first stock yeah, when you're terrible. up that high, not too bad. He's actually been playing well. Dash attack finally going to close out the first stock on Bankai. Right, for sure. I mean, it is three stocks to four. It's not terrible. Mm -hmm. uh, they, need a, they need a red team stock now, though. Yeah, and that can happen. Like, they, if they go and get an early edge guard on Kamino, which I think, yeah, he... he yeah, they were looking that, for it. That was perfect risk management. You had Palu there to cover you at roll range, even though Bankai went to go hit him. Try and go get that back air. If you hit him just a little Ooh. bit, he's gone. Kind of like that. I, I completely missed this the golden opportunity really? to say be gone, by the way. You'll get it back. You'll <laughs> get it back. It's really interesting. Um, I just feel like Red Team, they're just playing their comfort characters. Mm -hmm. I mean, Bankai is very comfortable with the ZSS, but, you know, he started this game as a Pokemon trainer in main. 
Kamina is a Richter me. That is the second time you've SD'd. Stop doing that. <laughs> yeah, it, you don't let that cost you. It might, see, and look at that. This is dangerous. This yeah. is dangerous right here, right now. Yeah, no, we're switching right over to the Ivy Sword. This is really what's if been the If I was Bonkai, I'd go help Kamina right now. Yeah, agreed. Kamina is in a bad spot. He actually was able to reach it. <gasps> oh, he's dead. Does he still have his jump? No. Oh, he's super dead. And that, look at the just the entire derailment of the red team's lead that they had. I mean, you have. And here's the thing Alfie is com more comfortable with this character, I think, than Zero Suit. There's plenty of Pokemon trainers in the world. Ooh, okay. Oh, and it's. Oh. Perfect team coverage getting <laughs> I was scared. that far. I'm always afraid of Flare Blitz. Hey, you know what? If I've been victim <laughs> Raise your hand if you've been personally victimized by Flare Blitz. I, I have, definitely I have. I have both of them in the air. That you guys just can't see it. That's one up smash. All right, there you oh. go. But this is rough. Oh, the the explosive flame gonna hit. Actually, to be, to be completely <gasps> oh honest, God, the explosive flame, even though it didn't kill, was actually slightly better. It. Gets the jump free. The up air is gonna take it out, and that's gonna be blue team running it back after what was a big deficit. Oh, they that had. was like what was it like? Three stocks to six? It was six stocks oh up, God. and everything just went out of place. And a big part of that was what I was saying before: the Richter recovery. A majority of those problems came from those early kills they got on Kamina, even though he was playing his best game three. Right. Like, absolutely playing, playing his playing best well. in that game three. Those early gimps right. ended up costing them. And right. because Monkai tried to go help him, he put himself in disadvantage. That also cost him, too. But